So here I have one of my more recent forward swift uh, micro air vehicles that I built. Uh, it's outfitted with two MFCs, macrofiber composites. And these allow it to uh, the wing to essentially morph, and I'm going to show you that. Uh, and they're, they're set up in a elevon configuration so that uh, you don't need a horizontal tail. There's enough reflex on the tail or on the on the wing to make it so uh, you don't need a horizontal stabilizer. Um, and this makes it so you can do roll and pitch uh, with only those two actuators. Uh, so here I have uh, the voltage power supply. Uh, it produces zero to five volts which are then fed into uh, these two uh, voltage amplifiers they're 300 time amplifiers so uh, if you put in five volts you get 1500 volts out uh, and then I also have resistors connected so that uh, one resistor is one mega ohm the other resistor is uh, one kilo ohm so uh, it's a, a voltage divider set up so that it uh, takes the voltage coming out and uh, makes it one one thousandth uh, so that I can actually read the voltage with the uh, the multimeters without uh, overloading the multimeters because these multimeters only go up to about 600 volts so uh, I can't read 1500 volts so I'm making it one one thousandth so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn on the power supply and then I'm going to go ahead and actuate the MSCs and show you what's going on so uh, I'm, a, I'm actually able to go up to, to 1700 volts on the, the MSCs without overloading them even though they're actually rated for about 1500 volts. Uh, so I'm going to load one in the 1500 volt or 1700 volt uh, direction and then I'm going to uh, actuate the other one to minus 500 volts which is essentially showing the, you the full range in an asymmetric uh, fashion. So, I'm going to actuate the one on the, the right here first. And then discharge it. Actuate it again. And the clicking noise you're hearing is just the, uh, the switch that I'm turning on and off. The MFC itself actually makes no noise. idea of the, the magnitude compared to the left side. And then I'm going to go ahead and actuate the left side now. It's a smaller actuation in the downward direction, but it's still, it's still there. Let me come back, give you a different angle. You can see the whole trailing edge of the wing actually deflects all the way to the wing tip. So the pretty much the entire airplane is made out of carbon fiber and then uh, the, the MSCs are bonded to a, a steel substrate, uh, just real thin sheet metal steel. Uh, you can't really see it with the, the speckle pattern applied, but you can see the MSC underneath. Uh, so having a, uh, a high modulus substrate like steel gives you more curvature. Uh, and then it's just really thin steel so that it's not, uh, it's not necessarily stiff. It's just higher modulus compared to something like unidirectional carbon fiber, which even though carbon fiber has a relatively high modulus when you're dealing just with the fibers, when you uh, make it into composite form, it's actually uh, a lower modulus around 100 gigapascals, whereas steel is around 200 gigapascals.